Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Revan here and welcome to another Adobe XD tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you and teach you how to make an animated side menu just like that. So if you press the Hamburg icon for the menu, the screen will pop to the right and then the menu will appear behind it. So an animated side menu using the auto animate function of Adobe XD. So we're going to make two screens, this is the end result, and we're going to start from scratch. So first thing we need to do is get our artboard of course so we're going to press a for artboard and on the right side we're going to choose the top one the iphone x xs 11 pro uh, if you want to make a custom well the width is 300 375 by 812 we're going to make sure that's in the middle of our screen so the first thing we need to do is make our menu itself um everything i do you can give it your own twist uh, but this is how i do it uh, so we're going to choose a color we're going to choose like a, an orange color something like give it a brighter something like that cool so we're going to save the color in the bottom over here our orange and now we're just going to make the menu items um i'll choose four menu items so we're going to make a home item um want it to be white the text i want it to be white uh help no it's too fuck it play too and bolt or black let's see let's go for heavy and we're gonna go for 22 20. ah let's go for 20. all right here we go so we're gonna make four items uh, we're also gonna put some icons in front of it so i got the plugin icons for design which i'm going to use so if i type in home over here we will have our icons which we're going to use and we're going to use that one so yeah this will do so we're going to make four items what i said uh we're going to make home we're going to make profile we're going to make stats because we're going to make a set an app about statistics or something i don't know you can just do whatever you want so we need uh, an icon for profile which is going to be a person like always we're choosing that one we need an icon for stats that one and we need one for settings which is a cog with a g and not with ck you dirty bastards so there we go we're gonna change the color of the icons to white and here we go all right so let's just do some alignments we're going to make sure all the icons are aligned in the middle we're going to do the same with that one and now we're just going to make sure that this is also aligned here we go all right so what is the, the distance between the text and the icon? i want to get a bit closer we're gonna uh, make sure the distance is a little bit bigger between them so we're going to put the settings up uh, a bit lower we're gonna group everything so select the text and the icon and press command or control G and do it with everything here we go now select all and distribute them what's it called yeah you get the point so they're all the same distance between them so that's our menu so now we're going to the second screen and that is just we're just gonna what's it called gonna make a new screen here we go and that one we're going to call like home screen so what do we want on our home screen of course we want a button with a menu icon we want the uh, let's put it black we want the uh, wait, stats for you but you don't see because it's white on white so we're gonna make it black here we go so we're gonna have the title or icon or symbol from the brand and then we're gonna put some stuff underneath it i'm not gonna design an entire screen because that's not the point of this video so we're just going to make a couple of squares which indicates that there is some content over there so we're gonna make some grayish and we're gonna make some more of that you can just duplicate them by holding option or alt here we go and now we're just gonna make one more big one over here we're gonna make those ah, so, so this is our content and now we're just gonna put the icon over there we're gonna make it a little bit of a rounded rectangle because that's just what i like and then we're going to the 
plugin icons for design for the i for the hamburger icon. So here we go. We're going to make sure that's it's in the middle. Press Command G to group them. And just for some stylish, we're going to change the colors of stats. Wait, what do I got? I was just saying, why? What are the lines? We're gonna change the color to the orange because that's like our branding color. And here we go. So that's our screen. All right, cool. So uh, in order to do the animation, we need to do a couple more things. We need to make an entire rectangle uh, from the background. So the background color is white. So what we do is we make a rectangle, no border, with the fill is the same as the background color you want. And then you're gonna send it to the back. You could do right click on the rectangle and send to back. Shortcut is command or control, plus shift, plus the left bracket key. And now it is at the back. That's amazing. Cool. Uh, select everything on this layer and group it. So command G. And there's one thing that needs to be done or else the animation will look quite funny. Uh, it's, you select it and the current background color, you're gonna change it to the same as the menu, so orange. But you will not see it because we made our background color as a rectangle, so it's underneath it. Cool. And the orange line, why is there? Oh, there's no orange line, it's just a little glitch. Cool. All right, so last thing we do, we copy the entire uh, layer, just like this, Control Command C, paste it on our menu screen, Move it a bit to the right and smaller by using Option or Alt plus Shift to resize it proportionally. There we go. Move it to the right. So this is the screen we want after the animation. And now the only thing we need to do is set the animation. So what do we want to do? Oh, I see that the rectangle has some sharp edges. If you go to look on your phone, which my guess is it's on your right, right now. Um, you will see that the it has rounded corners the screen. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna give it some rounded corners of around twenty. I think around twenty is fine. All right, here we go. So we want the animation to happen as soon as we click on the hamburger icon. So we're going to select that one. Go to prototype and just drag it to our menu screen. On the right side, you will have some options and the options we want is tap because we want the animation to happen as soon as we tap on that button. The transition is what well, we're doing we're using auto animate. Uh, if you want to know what all those different options are, transition is same as you in PowerPoint in here, you have some options, what kind of transition you want between the screens, but we're using auto animate uh, the destination is of course the menu screen and here you have some options for easing and easing pretty much means that it smooths out the animation it doesn't go on uh, uh, from one state to another with an equal speed but with with ease in ease out it starts slow it speeds up and then it slows down again so it is a lot smoother but the one we're going to use uh, for this animation is snap so it's like a whip it's like really you will see the result it, it looks pretty cool the dur duration well pretty much straightforward how long do you want the animation to take i'm gonna put it on 0 0.4 seconds and now we click on the hamburger icon we will go to this screen but we also want to go back so we're going to select the entire group and we're going to animate it back with the same settings as you can see on the right and that's it so let's see it end result. So this is our home screen with some item blocks, uh, our title and our icon box. And if you click on that, you will uh, menu will appear on the left side. You, you can design it the way you want. This should be a little bit more to the left as I can see because there's more space on the left and on the right, but it's just to show you how to do the animation. So this is this is it. Quite easy, quite simple, done in just a couple of minutes. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section below. I try to read and comment on every question or comment you posted. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Cheers.
Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If not, refresh it, give it another chance. Got questions? Just ask them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.